The most important thing in sales prospecting is getting quality data. That's what you use web scrapers for and I have tons of videos on that topic. But the second most important thing is processing that data so you can find the leads that have the most potential. Just by targeting better, you can up to 10x your close rate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence to do that lead qualification for you. Here I have a list of leads that I've scraped from LinkedIn. And now the big question is, whom do I call? How do I know which ones are more likely to buy? Who are the decision makers? I can look at their one-liner description from LinkedIn or even visit their LinkedIn profile pages before calling up those numbers. Or I can use this really cool automation to get this done for me with just one click. For this, I'm going to use this workflow automation tool called Bardeen. There it is. And this automation I called Qualify Leads. Okay, there we have it. Uh, this spreadsheet was just processed and it looks like we have a few decision makers. I can just create a filter over there and then just find only decision makers like this and just call them up. Here is a pro tip for productivity. Don't try to combine lead qualification and outreach in the same process to reduce context switching. Now let me show you what's inside this automation so you can customize it to work the way you want it to because the way you qualify leads and the way I qualify leads are definitely going to be different. I'm going to open up Bardeen over here and then hover over this card and open it in the builder, this specific automation. And this automation consists of three main actions. I'm going to walk you through them. The first one gets table from a Google sheet. It just pulls all of the data. The second action is going to get individual table rows from the table that we've gotten from this action. This open AI action is going to do the classification. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we're feeding uh, this entire table row and I have two classes that I've created. The first one is called decision makers and the other one is called others. For the decision maker class, I can provide a description. For example, these are the people who are chiefs, heads of departments, etc. You can make it a little bit more descriptive so that it works better. And then others are pretty much everybody else. And then for the context of this model, I said we're providing LinkedIn profile descriptions and then you need to qualify who has the authority to buy our no-code software. Again, the more context you provide this model, the better. And then finally, we're picking this GPT-4 model to do all of the analysis and classification. Finally, once that's done, we have the data, we process that data, then we need to update our spreadsheet. So we have that fourth action, which is update Google Sheet rows in a given spreadsheet. I provide the spreadsheet, then I say how to find the row to be updated. And finally, I add this new AI classification column that will provide the data from OpenAI. This entire automation is pretty simple. We're pulling data from Google Sheets, then we're using OpenAI to process the data, and then we're putting in that classification back into our spreadsheet. Okay, I'm getting super excited. Now let's kick things up a notch. I'm going to build an automation that is going to be your lead prospecting from LinkedIn. Imagine just typing in the name, a search terms such as automation agency, for example, and then getting back a list of companies that were already pre-qualified by artificial intelligence. So you can just dial for the numbers. Let me show you how to do that. And a little disclaimer, it's going to be a pretty insane automation. So you don't have to rebuild it. I'll just leave a link to it down below. Here we are on LinkedIn and I want to find sales related SaaS tools, for example. Let's go for it in the search and let's filter out to only see companies over here. Sounds like we have 10,000 results. I can also narrow it down a little bit to find only companies in Los Angeles and San Francisco. It's a little bit better and we have 968 results. Let's go for smaller companies, anywhere from 11 to 200 employees. See the results. And this is something that I can work with. This is perfect. And now I'm going to open up Bardeen and build the automation from scratch. I'm going to click on create new playbook and I'm going to use our scraper. The link to the full advanced scraper tutorial with all of the nitty gritty things is going to be over here right there. Let's click on scrape action and we're going to extract data from the currently open tab 
aka the active tab. The cool thing about Bardeen is that it already comes with tons of scraper templates so that you do not need to build them from scratch. And it looks like we have LinkedIn company search results scraper by Bardeen, as you can see. So the second argument over here asks me how many items do I want to extract or how many companies do I want to extract for this use case. I want to specify this number every time I run the automation. For that, I'm going to pick ask me every time. And let's call this variable number of companies. We have this first action that extracts all of the data. Let's go ahead and test it just to make sure that it works. Let's click on done and call this automation LinkedIn companies and qualification. Okay, that's our one action playbook. I'm going to click on it. And if you remember, we're asked the number of companies that want to extract. Let's go ahead and extract five companies from this list. And I'm going to go ahead and run this automation. And just like this, here we have this full spreadsheet of information. We can then use information such as the headline or the description to analyze this data. That's what we're going to do next. We are going to open this automation in the builder and analyze each one of those rows using OpenAI. So the second action is going to be getting each individual row from a table that you just saw. So this action is called get rows from table. We're going to feed this entire table coming from action number one click on done. And now instead of analyzing the entire table, OpenAI is going to analyze each row individually thanks to our second action. I'm going to add the third action, pick OpenAI. By the way, if you do not have OpenAI integrated, you can click on this plus icon and just add ChatGPT, OpenAI, you name it. Here we have tons of great OpenAI actions that this integration comes with. And I'm looking for this get classification generated by OpenAI action. In the first argument, I'm being asked what data I want to analyze. For that, I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to point to the second action and analyze all of the fields in a given row. Remember again, we're getting individual rows processed now. In the second argument of this action, we get to create classes and describe each class so that artificial intelligence does the job for us. Classes can be pretty much anything. You can classify different job titles. For example, a person who is an owner of a company uh, can have a name uh, business owner. It can have owner, co-founder, you name it. There can be so many variations of that job title. And because it's close to impossible to know all of the variations of potential job titles for one type of person, you can just use artificial intelligence to say, hey, that's the one. For our example, because we're looking for sales companies that do software specifically, I'm going to create a few classes. The first one is going to be called software company. And then description is going to be, these are the SaaS and software companies. They do not provide any services, but instead build software. This is our software class, software company class. And the second one can be an agency, for example, why not? These companies only provide services and do not have their own software solution. And let's create the third class, which is going to be called others. And for the description, I'm going to say everything else. The third argument is context. It's going to give OpenAI the important context about what it is looking at. Uh, here, I'm going to say that these are company descriptions from LinkedIn. Finally, you get to pick an AI model. There are a few for us to choose from. There is GPT-3, chat GPT, GPT-4. I'm going to go with GPT-4 because it's the most accurate. Let's click on done. And so far we've scraped the data and we've processed the information using this AI classification action. Now let's add this data into a spreadsheet so that we can dial for the number. Let's create new action. I'm going to pick Google Sheets and I'm going to create a new sheet. Now we need to give our spreadsheet a name. You can just call it leads, for example, like this. Or instead, I'm going to use this insert variable and ask me every time and ask for the sheet title so that things do not mix up later on. This is my second ask me every time argument in this automation. Okay, we have a sheet. We have the data. Now we need to add information into that spreadsheet. Hence, the following action with Google Sheets. That's going to add rows to a Google Sheet. Pretty simple. Let's pick the spreadsheet from action number four. Create the new tab in that spreadsheet with title. Let's call it companies. And finally, we need to map the data to that spreadsheet because it's an empty new spreadsheet. There are no columns, so you get to create columns from scratch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new column and call it company name. Let's hit enter and map data coming from the scraper to this column. Let me name. 
Let's get the URL also coming from the scraper. Description. Followers, why not? Let's now add our AI analysis, new column, AI classifier. And this time we're mapping data from action three, grab all fields, click on done, click on done again. And there we have our entire automation. I'm a little nervous to run it, but let's go ahead and do exactly this. I'm being asked for these two variables, number of results I want to extract. Let's go ahead and get 20 companies from this spreadsheet. I'm going to create a spreadsheet with name sales SaaS companies. Okay. And let's run this automation right now. Bardeen is scraping all of the information from LinkedIn and then is going to perform our AI analysis. Okay. That's our spreadsheet. Let's click on view. Okay. Phenomenal. I have all the data. I have the company names. I have the descriptions over here. We can even wrap those so we can see it better just like this. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, freeze the first column so that we can create some filters. I'm going to right click over here and uh, create a filter. And now we can just go after agencies. For example, let's go ahead and do that. And here we have all of the software development agencies. So this is a lead gen agency. Looks good. These guys build sales systems. This looks pretty incredible. This is the list I can work with. Now you can go ahead and use a deep scraper, for example, to follow each one of these links and get additional information from LinkedIn that's on their LinkedIn about page. Or there is a really cool video I've created about how to find the key decision makers from a list of companies just like this one with just one click. If you want to watch it, click here next. And remember that the links to the automations and to Bardeen is down in the description of this video. I'll see you there. Cheers.